What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, folks. Wolf of Crypto. You guys are tuned in to another episode of the Wolf of Crypto podcast. And uh, today we're going to be talking about another NFT project that I'm very excited for. Um, It should be arriving hopefully sometime in April. But when it comes to NFT projects and obviously the ups and downs we've had when it comes to the NFT market as a whole, like I said, this is one of the very few projects that I'm like, you know what, this one could be something. Um, it's called Crypto Grow. Um, we're going to be talking about basically kind of just overall what the product is, what it can do. Um, obviously, the mint has already happened. I have my machine that I am waiting for it to be shipped out to me so I can start my venture off to basically growing cannabis. Um, but we're going, like I said, get into all that. What is crypto grow? What's the pod or the features? And, you know, basically, how does it all work? Right. Because those of you that are out there that are in the cannabis industry, you're probably thinking to yourself, whoa, a pod that can grow weed for me at home and I can earn some NFTs and earn some tokens from it. Crazy, right? So as far as crypto grow, um, they are a Web3 native tech company that is looking to disrupt the emerging markets uh, using their cutting edge hardware and DeFi systems. As far as the pod goes, this is, you know, the basis. This is their product. This is their baby. Um, the pod is a Web3 integrated canvas growing machine that allows anyone to easily and affordably grow some premium cannabis in their home. It's got to be nice, right? Because instead of having to always go to the clinic and possibly, you know, spend some money. Wow. Now I got me a pod that can just, you know, do it from the comforts of my home. And what's kind of cool about this pod, the pod automatically adjusts its eternal ecosystem, which is the lighting, the temperature, the humidity, hydration, airflow, et cetera, et cetera, to maximize the quality and quality of your cannabis harvest. As far as this grow to earn um, at Crypto Grow, they're all about, you know, obviously growing, growing weed, growing knowledge, growing together. However, you like to grow and then with the grow to earn tokenomic system it's going to be basically designed to reward you for these tokens which are going to be harvest tokens for your engagement so example being like let's say you're on you know stage two of your grow and you did some type of you know milestone reward you know you're going to get rewarded with those tokens um now as far as they have a what they call a free weed movement the ecosystem is designed to maximize the return on investments for the users, making it possible to grow 100% cost-free premium cannabis. After a less than a year of use, three successful grows. Now, as far as how much yield that's going to get you, we won't really know. Um, obviously, it'd be nice to get, you know, I'm, I'm assuming like a pound worth, right? That'd be nice. Um, as far as the mint, like I said, the mint is... The mint already happened. The mint happened uh, last year in October. As far as, you know, if you were on the green list, you paid about 1200 public, about $1,400. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the overall essence of what Crypto Go is. Now, as far as the pod goes, um, this pod is going to be, man, going to make your life easy. But like that when it comes to growing some cannabis um, is basically made to be hands free control from your phone. Uh, it's going to have a Bluetooth capability. I've seen the app, seen some of the uh, behind the scenes work this company has done, had a chance to meet one of the founders. Uh, I saw this particular pod at NFT LA as well. Um, actually, not NFT LA it was a different NFT event, but Nonetheless, I have seen the pod up close and personal. 
it's not that, you know, it's not too big. I would feel like it's, you know, the right size uh, to fit in, you know, your closet or wherever you might be putting it in your own home. Now, they did assign the pod to automatically set the growing conditions, which I kind of spoke about a little bit. Um, it's going to be based on your plant's genes, age, and soil to optimize the quality and quantity of your final product. Um, you're going to be answering about five, seven questions. That's going to be on the Crypto Grow mobile app. That's going to automatically adjust the pot's ecosystem parameters to provide your cannabis plant with the individually optimized conditions. So this means examples are like adjusting the airflow, lighting intensity, uh, and the duration, the soil aeration, and the hydration, and then also the wiring rate as well. Um, during you know, the process as your plant is maturing throughout the various stages of growth and harvest, the pod's going to automatically adjust the conditions as necessary, um, like increasing the wire rate to hydrate the soil and flush it of nutrients pre-harvest, providing your plant the time it needs to maximize turpine concentration. So you can basically sit back, relax, and <laughs> just let the pod do everything. Um, now, there are going to be an option to, or say there's an option to do it manually. Um, Cause some of you guys might be experts when it comes to growing cannabis, right? You guys already might have some experience. Um, so growing conditions in the pot, like I said, are fully adjustable through the mobile app, which is going to be available on the iOS and the Android, allowing you to tweak, you know, specific variables throughout your plant's life cycle and grow the weed exactly how you want it. Um, and, you know, the adjustable conditions include, you know, the line control, intensity scheduling, toggling on and off, the humidity generation. You can kind of adjust that with the plus minus 10% accuracy using some, what is this, 1.9 millihertz disc. They have temperature control. Uh, same thing, you can measure and adjust that. And, you can, um, when it comes to the wire maintenance, you can measure the tank fill, adjust that as well. And then obviously the airflow. Now, the actual display of the pod, um, it's kind of cool. Like I said, it is something that you can, like I said, basically fit in your, in your living room. Um, you know, if your living room is not too distracted with other things. Now, according to their white paper, when it comes to the cost and ROI, um, what they're saying is basically after you grow just three plants, just three plants with the crypto route pod, you will be covering your purchase costs. And basically the weed was going to be, you know, free weed, free weed, folks, free weed. And you're probably wondering, well, how did they come by this? Right. Well, they're basically saying, you know, on public minting day, uh, if you buy the crypto grow pod which is basically pre-ordering the pot so you can mint and burn the NFT, costing you about $1,400, like I said, public mint. Um, and this mint was conducted in ETH, um, and you can uh, use USD as well. But I know you probably think, well, why is that price? My price sounds like it might be a little high, right? Right? You're probably thinking the price might be a little bit steep, but... With the four years of overhead that's gone to the research and development and the cost of manufacturing and delivering the pods, they felt like this price point was accurate enough to cost uh, to cover all that, right? Now, as far as their other NFTs, like they have an avatar NFT, a grow NFT, um, they're gonna have different airdrops that are gonna be basically provided to the holders throughout, you know, over time and in the near future. Um, so obviously. This means that continued participation in the ecosystem via these key NFTs is not dependent on any future purchases. Now, as far as the cost to grow, right? Pretty sure you're wondering, well, how much would it possibly cost me to grow, right? Now you got your soil, your nutrients, carbon filter, electricity, plant, all these are called grow inputs that they kind of put towards the cost. And what they came up with basically saying that per plant grown, they're going to estimate the cost anywhere from about 70 bucks all the way to $85. Uh, while the burn NFT pot cost is constant for all public mentors, the price to grow can vary significantly depend on your location. So 
obviously, depending on where you live, costs and expenses, obviously going to vary. Um, the quality and quantity of materials you purchase and the variable supply chains on which these materials rely on. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be some trial and error when it comes to first growing your cannabis in this particular pod. Now, as far as the return on investment, they're saying that the pure ROI for the average user uh, that will take less than a year to grow enough weed to pay off the cost of a crypto grow pod. So obviously, like I said, when I get this pod, hopefully, like I said, in April, um, cause I, I know that's when they are supposed to be starting to deliver these bad boys don't have a hard date quite yet. Um, you're going to grow enough weed to pay off the cost of the crypto grow pod and growing the inputs via their reward system. So once you reach this point, just basically saying after three grows, you have attained what they call pure ROI. And at that point you're growing hundred percent free premium cannabis. Well, they're saying, you know, well, how is this possible, right? How how is this possible? Well, check this out, right? So on average, Americans pay about two sixty five per ounce of marijuana. The crypto grow pot yields an average of one point five to three ounces of marijuana every fifteen weeks. So you know, you figured, well, if I'm somewhere in that ballpark range. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we are getting some free premium cannabis, which God, I love it, right? Um, and then, like I said, their grow to earn rewards are designed to yield enough harvest to help cover the cost of the grow. So, man, it's going to be really fun to watch to see how this ecosystem is going to work itself out. Now, as far as manufacturing and delivery, um, these costs were already included in the minting price. Manufacturing Crypto Grail has raised about one million in seed funding to properly engineer their technology, um, source their supply chain, and establish vital manufacturing partnerships. Um, and we're basically, you know, those of us that were able to burn the NFT, we were helping launch the future of user centered business and at home cannabis growth. Again, this is going to be it's going to be lovely to see, obviously, um, shipping and handling that those costs were included in the price as well. Delivery, though, is going to be available exclusively within the continental United States. Once shipping information has been entered, it is final, cannot be adjusted. And guess what, folks? All deliveries will include a complimentary grow kit. So that's the pod in itself it's going to be sick like i said i can't wait um and for me it's like at this point i feel like i won't even need to really go to a clinic and pick up weed because now i can just kind of experiment and grow my own and try different plants and combinations and just basically be like a you know a scientist right in some sense now We want to shift our focus a little bit to the actual app. Um, And this is something that obviously you're going to be connected with and going to be basically able to do everything from the phone, control your whole grow. Shoot, you might be running errands somewhere and you can check on your grow from the from the app. So. And this is where the grow to earn tokenomics come into play as well. Uh, which is designed to reward the community with the harvest tokens in exchange for their engagement. Um, And they designed, like I said, the harvest to yield to help cover costs, which are, you know, your soil, your nutrients, electricity, and all that. Um, As far as the ways that they're going to expand on how to grow, they're going to have, you know, different educational videos that you can watch on their Grow University, uh, which is going to, you know, reach milestones in your plants grow, support the community. Um, just different ways of how you want to grow, um, and just going to earn rewards for doing that. So that's going to be fun to see. And then these rewards, these tokens that you're earning, you're yielding, probably thinking, well, where will I be able to use them? And that's where you can go to the e-commerce store and you'll be able to, you know, buy some merchandise. You might be able to get some growing materials. Um, and you can get some virtual merchandise as well. It's going to be all capable from your phone. And all store vendors will be vetted by the community 
and we'll have to financially back the harvest tokens to access the platform, stabilizing the value and making their products cheaper for consumers like us. So that's all going to be within the app. Obviously, it looks good. Um, and we have three NFTs. That's part of the platform. You got the burn NFT, the avatar NFT and the grow NFT. The burn NFT, which is the pre-order slip for the crypto grow pod, um, leveraging the NFTs in it. Supply chain management strengths to attract user purchases, partner IP affiliations, and then you can manage manufacturing and delivery. When the time comes, holders will be able to enter their delivery information and burn their burn NFT to redeem their pod. Holders can redeem one pod for every burn NFT they hold. So if you have multiple burn NFTs, you can get multiple pods. Um, but it's probably going to cost you, you know, nice little chunk of chain. But not going to cap to you. It would kind of be nice to have two of these bad boys. Just thinking outside the box here. And then the Avatar NFT. Uh, this one right here is a living dynamic NFT that revolutionized the profile picture meta. It serves as a virtual and in real life community access pass, social identity, e-commerce store, variable discount coupon, and harvest token farming system. Um, not for sure when the avatar NFT is going to be dropped. Uh, definitely got to follow up to see if they made an announcement about that. And then the last NFT you got here is the row NFT. The Grow NFT is a living dynamic NFT that uses the Crypto Grows Pod's internal sensors to model your in real life plant and grow as alongside with it. Like that sounds pretty sick. So like as it's, you know, in the baby stages, as it's growing, well, this live dynamic NFT is supposed to grow along with it. The Grow NFT links to your pod via the mobile app, directly emitting harvest token rewards in exchange for your engagement in the grow to earn ecosystem um again those last two nfts we do not know what they look like but best believe they are definitely on the way and then last but not least last thing we're going to kind of talk about when it comes to this particular project is the defy part of this um they have an innovative DeFi engine that's going to you know, increase the community treasury and maximize the community token rewards over time. So they have this stakeholder synergy. And it's going to look a little something like this. Conventional finance, you got users, investors and vendors working independently and in compatibility. And at Crypto Grow, what they're looking to do with their DeFi engine is They've carefully crafted to take full advantage of some late innovations such as Web3 DeFi NFTs, aligning these interests all for the financial stakeholders and opening doors to unparalleled capital efficiency. The way this whole little ladder is going to move is with the users being rewarded with the harvest for their continued product use and engagement. Vendors are required to buy and stake harvest to access the e-commerce store, thereby supporting the harvest valuation and line the interest of vendors with crypto grows. And then investors provide initial harvest and DEX liquidity and stabilize the token price through various forms of arbitrage. So um, this is going to be interesting to see how all this works. Obviously, you, you have their grow to earn tokenomics that provides a variety of ways to earn their tokens for engaging creating an ecosystem that rewards users for all sorts of value adding engagement um, where you want to grow some weed, learn at real university, rarity farm, your avatar, NFT, support other users. Crypto grow is going to find some rewards to reward you for your time and your effort. They really believe that users are going to be the backbone of any company success in that high time, that core value is rewarded when, you know, there's some compensation behind it, right? Um, now, as far as the tokens, right? We got two tokens. You got the harvest token, which I've been constantly talking about that one. Uh, when it comes to supply on that verified sales, uh, the first harvest tokens will be generated during 
verify sell rounds. That's where the KYC investors will have the opportunity to uh, purchase this privately before the ecosystem is even live. That's something that's supposed to be coming um, in the near future. Don't have an exact date on that quite yet. Then you got the grow curve, which is the harvest bonding curve that allows investors to purchase newly generate harvest directly from the source at any time. The grow curve is dynamic, meaning the more harvest there is, the more expensive it will be to purchase from. Harvest burn at launch, only two things will be burned. When harvest is exchanged for merchandise on the crypto grow e-commerce store, 5% of that transaction is burned forever decreasing the total supply of the harvest tokens in the ecosystem. And then um, harvest tokens can also be returned to the harvest bonding curve um, in exchange for die any time, burning them forever. The grow curves uh, harvest die exchange rate is dynamic. The more harvest there is, the more die it will fetch. So that's something also I got to kind of read into a little bit. And then it looks like we're going to actually have an opportunity to farm um, it says the final most exciting ways user will be able to earn some harvest is through their innovative rarity farming system where holders of the avatar NFT will compete to purchase trade and win some unique traits to maximize their avatar's rarity. This is basically them compensating you for your participation. So obviously they want to be able to reward users for anything that you do on this particular platform. Obviously, when it comes to being able to buy a harvest, it looks like you'll be able to buy it three ways, the open market. Um, you'll be able to go to a DEX, like Uniswap or something like that, be able to swap it out, get their token. And then it looks like here too, um, you will also have the opportunity to stake um, some harvest tokens um, harvest in any officially supported LP tokens can be staked directly with the crypto grow staking contract. Each option presents its own risk and rewards. Per usual, the higher the potential risk, the higher the potential rewards. Now, the rewards for staking the afor aforementioned tokens will be issued via their exclusive non transferable token trim. Um, trim can only be earned by staking harvest and liquidity pool tokens and can only be used to purchase tickets. Now, these tickets can be redeemed for the chance to win exclusive NFTs and other prizes or sold on the secondary market to users who are not earning trim or would like to increase their chances of winning some big prizes. This gives stakers an opportunity to profit from their trim yield at the opportunity cost of wrathful participation. So, who? And this trim token, um, I'm not too familiar with this. My first time actually kind of reading up on it. Um, I've been away from the project just because after we minted, nothing really has taken place. But um, looks like here, Trim's going to be that now transferable token that can only be earned by staking your harvest. Um, and then harvest can be staked either directly with the crypto growth staking contract or through a decentralized exchange liquidity pool. Um, and as far as holders of Trim, like I said, you'll be able to buy different trade tickets the type of tickets that you're gonna have are raffle tickets and drop tickets raffle tickets can be entered into routine raffles obviously giving you opportunity to read some merchandise um, experiences avatar wearables smoking equipment dispensary gift cards cannabis farm tours drop tickets um, those can be entered into nft raffles give you obviously opportunity to win some free nfts these NFTs may be internal to the crypto growing ecosystem, like an avatar or grow NFT, or they may be from one of their many project partners. So the sky is the limit. And then as far as entering the raffle, um, the raffle process, all raffles will be open for a set period of time. During the period, you can submit your tickets for a chance to win prizes. So main tickets into the draw involves a transaction on chain and is not done automatically how they select their winners. Each prize will be allocated to a randomly drawn raffle ticket where each ticket has an equal chance of winning. Random numbers for the raffle prize winners are generated through chain links on chain verifiable randomness generator. When the raffle's over, you can find out what if any prizes you have won and can claim them on the chain 
Bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. Um, so yeah, I know that was probably a lot to take in, but like I said, this is a project that I am very, very excited to be a part of. Cannot wait to get my pod, start growing some premium cannabis for the free and just kind of see how this project obviously takes the market by storm um, and just kind of see how this can maybe disrupt the cannabis market as a whole as well. Because like I said, change is a game wherein you can grow your own premium cannabis and do it at the cost of a fraction of what it would probably normally cost you. But all, like I said, those costs will vary just depending on the location you are in. But I think that's going to wrap it up, though, folks, for this particular episode on Crypto Girl. Like I said, definitely will be doing some features on them in the future. Like I said, I definitely want to do a nice vlog of my first grow with that machine um, just to see if I'm able to, you know, accumulate anywhere from 1.5 to 3 ounces of, of weed every 15 weeks. I like the sound of that. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely do another episode just when we start to get some more updates from the project itself. Like I said, right now they're still hard at work, but nothing too major to really update you guys on. But if you this is your first time hearing about Crypto Grow and their project, like I said, I suggest you check it out, especially if you're a cannabis lover and you like to grow. Um, because I also heard that you might be able to grow some other things in the machine as well. Uh, so, you know, might not just be for cannabis. You might be able to grow some other plants and, you know, fruits or whatever the case it be. So that's going to wrap it up for this particular episode. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Hope you guys are enjoying the podcast and I'm your host, Wolf of Crypto. And until the next time, y'all take it easy. Peace.